Okay, picking up where we last left off, um, we have gone through this data set and we have munched together. We have done some pre-processing of the DOI column um, because it's very important to at least have uh, a unique set of information and not a lot of nulls, which we had. We've dropped some of the titles that remain null after we scrape some metadata. And now um, we just made some reference to a really great Kegel metadata um, uh, kernel that Chris X put together. We're not going to go ahead and jump into that, um, but we're going to go into extracting what information we can from the JSON files. Now, you can't use the pandas read JSON um, as you might expect because the underlying structure of the files is very complex. So uh, you can see um, the name from json.schema present in the dataset directory. Uh, so we will have to write our own customized pipeline. This is tricky. Thankfully, there has been some work done already on this. Thank you. And you can see the two Kegel projects here to do that. Um, one is, you know, an EDA parse of JSON and generates um, CSV. This kernel will show you how to do that pipeline. Um, really helps you to parse through a huge amount of data. And then we have another one here that helps us to create another Corona CSV file. Um, and this will help you get a data frame with specific data. The first one's more comprehensive. Um, the second one is just really what you need, uh, the output. So I'm going to use the second one because I think it's a lot friendlier. All right. Um, so we're going to print our JSON file. And we can see here that um, it is parsing through the JSON here, um, which is great. And it's outputting just the metadata, everything from the last name, first name, the author, any of the information we want to pull in. Thank you for those who've already written this for us. Um, and the output from this Corona file, um, you would just add as upload data, kernel upload file. Um, and search the name of this notebook. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And I want to, let's see, data. And we can see here that he starts with the, all the L sources. And then at the very end, we go to the output. And he's got his formatted data set here. And we're going to go ahead and download it. And if I come back to mine, we're going to go ahead to this add data as soon as it's done downloading here, which looks like it is. We're going to go ahead and hit add data and data sets, upload, select files to upload and in our downloads. And it is this data set right here. And we're going to go ahead and call this our and we just have to wait for it to finish. It is quite a large file. So you can see here it is currently uploading and when it is done you'll see that over here you can see it's going to be saved and it is just moving very very slowly but you can see a little snapshot of it here nicely for a formatted JSON file thank you so much for putting this together and we're about halfway through. So essentially what we've done now is we want to go ahead and extract the text that goes along with these articles. Because if you think about being able to do NLP or other text analysis or other text type <clears throat> deep learning exercises, I believe this is going to give us a great way to tie together what we've already been looking at, the data set that's been provided by Kegel, as well as some interesting facets that we may find in this um, extraction of the articles data set. So that's why we want to pull it together. Plus, we can also do some interesting things with it, you know, downstream if we if we really wanted to. 
All right. So since I can't scratch my nose, I'll just put up my hair and that'll at least give me some impression maybe <laughs> that I am uh, scratching my nose. Okay, we are about three quarters of the way done here. Uh, I really do hope you liked the Kyrgyzette video. Um, I can't tell you enough how much I love Kyrgyzette. First of all, when my son was about six, we started putting Kyrgyzette videos on at night. So he'd go to sleep because he has a lot of energy at night. And we found that A, he was fascinated by them. So sometimes he stayed awake so it actually was counterintuitive, but it really made him interested in science. And so even if it did keep him up, I love the fact that it has now made him very interested in all of the different um, learnings he has from the Kyrgyzette videos. They're very authentic and they're very accurate. So you're not going to get a lot of like fake misinformation spread through them. As you could see at the very beginning of the video, it said based on the information we have uh, as of March 2020. And so they, they go to great efforts to bring in experts and scientists to really validate before they put forth any Kyrgyzat video on any topic. And I mean, some of these videos range from, you know, what is artificial intelligence to um, what is the, you know, what is the first human? What is depression? I mean, it's a whole range of topics that they cover. So it's not just those on viruses. So um, I highly suggest you check it out. And hopefully, you know, if you do like them, you can, you know, either donate or donate your time to helping them with their, their subsequent videos. Uh, okay, so we are almost done here. It looks like we have about, I don't know, let's say 85% done. And so once we have our second file here, we will go ahead and click create. Oh, it's like waiting for water to boil. Ah, I'm dying here. So close. So exciting. All right. So it looks like it is roughly done. And by roughly, I mean not done. And... <laughs> You know, it's just reminding me of a watch pot doesn't boil joke, but I'm terrible at telling jokes, so I'm not going to tell you. Oh, look. See, thank goodness. Save by the bell. And we'll go ahead and click create. All right. So now it's processing our data. And you'll see we have yet a, another step uh, while they're processing. Uh, this is a little bit quicker. Um, it is estimated to take about three minutes to process. Um, I don't think it'll take that long, but we shall see. It is quite a big data set that we are attaching here. Um, essentially, what's going to happen in this last stage is we are going to tie together the output of this file to, see, there you go, not even three minutes. Gotta love it. Um, and so, And so now it is, I'm not sure why my session was disconnected, uh, but we will go ahead and restart it. Probably because it's so big, I'm thinking. So yeah, sometimes this happens when you have a really big file. Mm, restart session. And you can see the session is restarting. And it's in the process of restarting. So you can see the messaging around the, the session here. And it happens. And so we'll go ahead and give that a second to start. So potentially that's why it, um, it was so quick. See some of our stats here on our CPU usage. Now, uh, every certain time frame in a month, you can actually execute this as GPU. But um, in this instance, we're going to go ahead and just use the CPU version and our session is back up. So uh, let's go ahead and run all again because it, it died. Um, we're going to have to rerun all of our cells to make sure we have all the references in memory to um, the libraries and packages we're including. Um, things like pandas and numpy. And we are almost done and we can reference our new data set file. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hide. All right, so you can see here these little asterisks until it is done running. And it looks like we have a little smoosh because I called it something else. All right, so in this instance,
All right, let me go back to the top, see what's happening, because I, I don't believe it. All right, so we have our different notebooks here. We have our cleansed right here. We have our and then of course we have our different data sets that we're bringing in here. And then of course our working directory. All right, so Back to dropping the duplicates. This is where we name it. We want to fill out names. We're going to explore the missing values. We have that one row we don't like. And da 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 da. Hmm. Just curious. Mm -hmm. It was here before. We'll have to take a look at what happened there. Mm -hmm. Go back and take a look. Ah. Mm. All right. Back to ours, and we're going to add one more code cell. All right. And uh, we're going to delete that one. And now, there we go. I'm not sure what happened to that before, but there is our JSON we saw earlier. And and search the name of this search the name of this one admin. Add or upload data, kernel output file. There's our input, there's our output. And it's right there. And then we have Hegel input, research challenge, doo -doo -doo, all sources of our metadata. And now we're going to go ahead and go through these. Okay. And now we can see in reading our Kaggle COVID-19 open CSV format, where we drop, we locate, and this is going to have all of that great metadata that he fixed for us. We can see here that we still have a lot of NANs. I also references some other discussions into the data. And finally, this last piece um, is going to be
as my next video. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And we're going to save and commit. We have some logs. And so you can see here in our version two that's running. And so it's running through all of our changes and very soon it'll be done. Anyways, I hope you have um, enjoyed walking through this. Um, there we go. We see here we have our next one done. And we want to go ahead and complete. And we're going to go ahead and open up our new version. Make sure we have all of our changes. And here we go. Yay. Okay. And so now we're going to go ahead and make it public. and save and so now it's public for anyone to upvote we hope you do and it's been a pleasure streaming this with you today i hope to be back to show you more on power bi and how you can visualize this data next